Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, all of that juicy goodness. In this video, we're going to talk about one thing that you can do to keep yourself in a high vibe, high frequency state for longer periods of time. And it's basically surrendering. And surrendering to me, in my experience with my clients and in my personal life, is understanding that in any given moment, God and the universe is in control of your life. And when you think you need to grip and when you think you need to control and you're like, oh, I have to make this decision, I have to make this move. And you're kind of like one foot in, one foot out, and you don't understand how it all works. This is what is blocking you. It's because you're thinking that you have to grab the wheel and do it, but it's a surrender. You are telling the universe, you're making your list and you're saying, this is what I want. If this is what's best for me and what's best for the highest good of everyone involved, I would love this to happen. Could you please make this happen? That's your 50%. And it's a co-creation. So your 50% is here. And then the universe is going to take that order and it's going to bring it to you in a way that we are not in control of. And that's the part that people mix up. People think that they have to force their business to happen or they have to force their, the sale of their house. And there's a part of the journey where you have to put it out there, right? So let's talk about selling a house. Your 50% will be to write down, universe, I am so grateful now that I sold my home so effortlessly, so easily. The perfect buyer was chosen for me. They gave me over our asking price. Maybe they paid cash. Maybe you didn't even have to do um, all the inspection stuff that usually comes along with it. You can make your list and write down whatever you want, how you want this to play out, okay? You're making your list. And then you're making a list of the next house that you want to have. You're going to say, universe, I am so grateful now that you brought me a beautiful, clean, bright, airy, open concept home uh, with beautiful neighbors that are kind and quiet. And you're picking out every small detail that's going to make your experience wonderful moving forward. And you're going to call the realtor. You're going to ask for the most perfect realtor who's going to be great to work with and fun and vibrant. And she, she or he's going to get everything done on time. And you're going to call them and you're going to have both lists made energetically. You can put them on the wall in your bedroom or wherever you're going to see them often through this process. And then you're just putting it up on the market. Okay. It's on the website. It's out there. You picked a divine price. Now it's done. This is where we surrender. This is where we sit back and we say, universe, you take it from here. I trust you completely. And in the process of this sale and the purchase, please change me into a man or woman who can stay seated. This is the hardest part. <laughs> please change me into a man or woman who can stay seated and know that you have this. You are going to make this work. So if somebody places an offer on my home and it's not quite the amount that we wanted, that we were manifesting, if we stay seated and we observe how we feel when that offer comes in, if it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't feel aligned when we're seated in our chair, then we don't take it. And we know that the universe is going to bring us something better. Okay, if you get that offer and something lights you up about it, I don't know, maybe you just love the people that are purchasing it and you're like willing to sacrifice a little bit of money and you really want these people to have it because maybe they have a tough story or something. You follow that nudge because guess what will happen? The universe will have that person by your home and then the next house <laughs> that you purchase will be that amount, whatever amount you didn't receive from that buyer. The universe will then throw that amount into the next house and it will knock off that price so you don't have to pay that amount. So you're going to end up saving the same money that you technically lost by offering your home to this wonderful family. See how that works? So your only job is to paint the picture of how you want it to go. And when there's change in your life, this is the fun part about manifesting. Like you don't want to stay stuck in the same house at the same job, doing the same thing over and over again. You want to dance with the universe. You want to see how all of this works. And the only way we can learn the magic is by experiencing change in our life and moving our bodies and going to different places and asking for things and then sitting back in our seat and saying, universe, 
I did all I needed to do, you take it from here. So for example, I created a mindfulness program back in 2020 and it's for kids, grades, third grade through 12th. There's two different programs I created. And I all I had to do was do the work. I had to film it, edit it, put it out there. And now God has it. And he's in charge of taking it to the schools and to the kids that need it. And it was made in 2020 and it's 2023. People are still purchasing it. The elementary program that I created just got sold to 30 schools in Phoenix, Arizona. So it's out of my hands. The universe is now in charge of it. But don't get me wrong. Every week I am writing in my journal that I want more kids to have that program because my goal is to reach millions of kids. So I am still setting the intention, even though I created it back in 2020 and I had my little manifestation board to reach 33 million kids and it's three years later, but I'm still setting the intention. I'm still asking and saying, universe, can you still make this happen for me? Can you keep giving it to the kids in schools that need it most? And it's showing up every, every once in a while, I get an email saying, Hey, we've direct deposited dot, dot, dot into your account. Congratulations on the sale. And it's just, it happens. So if you're wanting to create change in your life, if you're wanting to reach people with your special gifts, if you're wanting to buy a home, if you're wanting a new car, you are going to create the reality of what you want to happen. Do you want the sale to happen quickly? Do you want the car to come in out of nowhere? Do you want it this color? Um, do you want the car to come in sooner than they tell you that the manufacturer can make it? You can manifest that. You're going to play out the exact scenario that you want to happen. And then you're just going to do the one thing that you need to do. You're going to go to the dealership. You're going to look for the car. When they find it, place the order if it feels in alignment with you. And now you've done your part. Now you can let the universe do the rest. And even just going to a dealership is enough because sometimes the universe will show you by bringing you the best salesman. And you can ask on your drive to the dealership for those people too. Don't forget, you guys can ask for anything. So this manifestation process is a 50-50 process. And we have to learn to sit in our seat and be in our feminine energy and receive once we do the masculine part of it. So we're doing the masculine part by taking action, listing the house, picking out what we want, and then we sit back in our feminine energy. And that's when the universe plays as the masculine role and it brings us our desire. So learning this art is going to enhance your game so much because you're going to know when to sit back and when to take action. When am I doing too much? Oh, am I stepping on the toes of the universe? I don't want to be doing that. Sorry, universe. I did everything I needed to do. And stepping on the toes might be you know, somebody comes in and places an offer on your house and they give you a price that you don't like. And all of a sudden you get in this like terrible, icky bidding war and they want $5,000 for this uh, thing that they need to fix in your house. And there's all of this chaos. In that moment, you're sitting back in your seat, you're observing it and you're going to say, okay, universe is making a lot of crazy things happen right now. I'm going to sit back and watch it and maybe I'm going to not resist it. Maybe this will make sense later. Maybe I am going to pay the $5,000 to give them the opportunity to personalize the house so we don't have to make the changes on our own. And like I said, the universe will bring us $5,000 in the future. So sometimes you have to sit back and surrender and let those big payments come in because the universe has something better for you. But you have to sit back and let it do its job. You cannot get up and start fussing and fighting and saying, I'm not paying that $5,000. I'm not doing this. This is not what I asked for. That's you grabbing the wheel or grabbing the oars of the boat and you're trying to force things to happen. And that's when life becomes more difficult, more stressful. Um, you're in ego more and you're exhausted. And then the process is no longer fun. And you're throwing your hands up going, I'm done with the universe. It did not bring me what I wanted. This was not easy, but it would have been easy if you just sat back and understood that sometimes it's not always going to go as we planned. It goes better. But when the hiccup is happening and the weirdness, we have to sit back and allow it to happen. And if you're in a situation like that, please message me. Everything's in the description box below. I would love to help you learn that art of when to surrender and when to take action and when to when we see the universe doing something weird, that's, I will be able to help you say, okay, now we sit back or now we speak our truth and we're not going to let somebody walk all over us. There's a fine line and you have to learn that. And that's why you're here because you're learning 
how to navigate life in this new way using the co-creation, using God, using the universe, working with it. It's not really using it, but we're working with God. Okay, so like, comment, subscribe, connect yourself to my energy and to my channel, hit the bell so you know when my videos are coming out. I will be creating a manifestation course soon. It's in the works, so keep an eye and ears out for that and keep your heart open. Um, I think it's going to be something that you guys are really, really going to love and you're going to want to share it with family members who might be new to the journey and they don't understand all of this. It's going to be my whole channel in a little bundle that you're going to be able to click one button and have it for life and you're just going to know that you have this safe space to go to when you're feeling unsure when you're not sure what to do you're not sure what this sign means this course is going to be everything it's going to be everything in one spot that you need all right lovies thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one peace out